Hey guys, I'm Mother Daughter Every Day. Today we're making Bangladeshi cabbage creamy. So let's get started. The ingredients that you'll need are 4 cups of milk. Here we have our milk boiled and thickened. 1 and a half cup of sugar. 8 cloves of cardamom. And 4 tablespoons of butter, also known as half a stick of butter. You'll also need a small cabbage. Now here we're just showing you a very small proportion of it to how you need to chop it. You need to chop it super, super thinly. You don't want to chop it very thickly, then it won't be how it's supposed to. And by the way, for the milk, you know how you thicken it? It's sort of like condensed milk, but you, if you're in a rush, you can use condensed milk, but we prefer you not to use condensed milk because you won't get the perfectly sweetened custardy taste if you're using condensed milk. It's going to not have such a great taste. So yeah. So once you've chopped up all of your cabbage, this is how it'll look. And you can see it's very fine. You want it to be fine or else the taste is not going to be there. And make sure to use small, whatever you call this, green or white cabbage, whatever you call it, wherever you live. Make sure you don't use red cabbage for this. And you want to wash it very well and remember to dry it. Don't soak out, seep out all the moisture, all the water. Just make sure that you dry it enough so it's dry to the touch but it's not like uh, dried up. So as you can see at this point um, we've taken our cabbage and moved it into a wok over the stove top and we have water underneath this. I don't know if you can tell but the water is boiling hot because we need to steam this for about 10 minutes or until it's slightly soft but you don't want it to be mushy you just want it to be slightly al dente so in one stove you have your cabbage mixture but in the other stove you have your milk and sugar mixture that you're going to boil slash heat up we're going to heat it up a little more because it's not quite as thick as we want it and we're going to make sure that your milk doesn't over float or overflow. Now we're just adding in our sugar. Back to what I was saying, make sure your milk doesn't overflow because then your milk proportion will become smaller and your cabbage proportion will become larger. You'll get what I'm saying once we start showing you how to put the steps together. So after 10 minutes, this is how it will look. It'll be nice and soft, nice and dente, but you don't want it to become mushy, so before I start blabbing around, let's just strain it very quickly. This thing is really hot, and little grandma is using a little help from me. Okay. So now we'll, what we're going to do is take out all the cabbage. And be careful, make sure when you're doing this, little kids aren't running around. If it splatters on them, they'll end up with a burn. <laughs> now we're just going to take some very, very cold water, or water, and we're going to cool down this cabbage as quick as possible. What little grandma basically did is blanch this thing for a few minutes. So yeah. If you are from like newer style, then you can make the ice water beforehand. But you know, traditional grandma style. So yeah. So make sure to squeeze out all of that extra water. You can use a little bit of grandma muscle here. See, if grandma can do this, anyone can do it. The little grandma grandma muscles. So once it gets super congealed like this, she almost dehydrated that poor little thing, whatever. After you dehydrate it, then you want to take it over to the milk and you're going to just add it in. So here is our little wok and little grandma miss told one of the steps, which is that you're just going to take a little piece of butter and you're going to saute it. You're not going to let it sheet, you're just going to saute the little cabbage. So that's why you need the butter. Ta-da! 
and you can use as much butter as you like or as little butter as you like. But the more that you put on or the minimum amount is on the recipe. Oh, whoa. Whoa, people. That's going to be the big splashy splashy time. Ooh, my camera's not in focus. Whatever. Whoa. So yeah. Here is your cabbage that you're now going to slightly saute until it's slightly almondy brown color. Or slightly buttery. A little grammar to this place with all the words. So yeah. No one messes, we're almost done. So now is going to be the smoking and the most dangerous part. Wink wink out of all of this. You're going to add in your milk cardamomy mixture, which is going to make it smoke up. But the smoke is now gone. And it smells delicious. So yeah. So you're just going to let this steep in this milky, buttery, sugary, sweetened custardy mixture until the milk thickens. And then once it's nice and thick, you're going to take it off the heat and plop it onto a plate or a bowl. We'll see you back when it's nice and cooked. So once your delicious cabbage creamy is done, this is how it will look. I'm not going to even bother trying to cut it because of the butter. It's going to get kind of set and if I like move it around with my spoon, it's going to get kind of messed up. So I don't want it to look like that, so I'm not going to stir it like I usually would. So this is your finished product. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you ever make this video. Sorry, if you ever make this dish. And if it worked out, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos from us, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you like our videos, subscribe to our channel to notify us that a lot of you people like our videos. But other than that, see you next week. Goodbye.